Gears of War is coming back, and Rod Ferguson is the man that is in charge of making sure our baby is the same baby we know and love, but a slightly different one, right? A slightly prettier baby. Yes. A slightly prettier baby. A little bit more modern, contemporary babies. It's exciting to be back and revealing so much. Welcome back to the Army, soldier. Well, you now are based in Vancouver, B.C. How does it feel to have worked in Raleigh, North Carolina on this franchise that went on to be a blockbuster, but then to try to recreate the Gears vibe right. in a very peaceful city? <laughs> of Vancouver. Vancouver yeah. It's been great. The team up at the Coalition is amazing. It's an energy that, that I haven't felt before like since Gears 1. After eight years in Raleigh, everybody was kind of like, hey, I wonder what else kind of things we could be doing. But yeah. you go up to the, in the Coalition, it's the, everybody just loves working on Gears. It's on every screen. Everybody's just so excited. And now to be actually able to reveal it and everybody's like, oh, we can talk again now. We don't have to be quiet for a year and a half. So it's been great. <laughs> Is the Coalition overseeing the uh, Gears of War 1 remake? Yeah, so the Coalition oversaw the Ultimate Edition, but we're working with a partner in the UK called Splash Damage. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we sort of established a baseline of what we're looking for. We also redid all the cinematics inside the Coalition, but then we worked with them to do the rest of the game. But we replaced all 4,000 like, art assets, so we took basically the core simulation of what the game was back in 2006 and 7, and then we just rebuilt everything else from scratch on it. So all the characters, all the models, all the weapons, all rebuilt from scratch. Back in 2006, we were running out of time, and so we were doing these things called Frankensinies, where you, you take the motion from one cinematic and you make a new one with the same motion, and, and you try to hide it as best you can. Yeah. So that was one of the first things we sat down with Kyle, the cinematic director, and I. We went through and we said, what's the intention we were trying to get across back in 2006? What was the story beats we were trying to hit? And then we went back and really nailed on those and got mocap for every scene. And now with the quality of the, of the facial animations, now we can go really tight. When Marcus watches men be stabbed by Rom, like you can see it on his face and so we really tried to layer in a lot more detail and, and really tell the story the way we wanted it to be told back in 2006 and also now we're like able to put the game in context with the rest of the trilogy so right. you know when we did Gears 1 we didn't know there was going to be a Gears 2 and a Gears 3 so we, we couldn't like foreshadow to things like that and and a real simple example is like we didn't know that the prison was called the slab and so when Karen wrote the book the slab she named the prison and so we went back and so when you play ultimate edition you walk out as Marcus the first thing you see is welcome to the slab in blood right. and he's like and it ties it all back in so now when you go back it actually feels like it's part of the whole like the whole trilogy makes sense now from that perspective and I'm wondering what disciplines and what new ways to approach developing gears you're sort of implementing into the next gears the next gears is Salma next year you mean for gears 4 looks like it went this way come on going from Unreal Engine 3 without we've maxed out as far as we can take it and now we're with Gears 4 we're on Unreal Engine 4 so that's a whole new set of tools and, and toys to play with to try to help push the platform and push the game. It's really interesting we did Gears 1 with 80 people and you can't make AAA games with 80 people anymore and so it's all about specialization and having lighters and environment artists and very unique disciplines that are really top in the skills in their particular discipline yeah. and having a lot of them because it's a lot of content to make a AAA game. Oh.